You have to do it more. Oh, oh God. Heck. Oh my God. It's stuck! Ah! <laughs> Whoever's watching this, my name is Benny Sons, aka I have braids for I don't know two weeks and I didn't take them out, so whatever. Um, today you're gonna see me getting ready for a girl's night out. Um, that I'm not here for my free will, I got forced. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, um, you're about to see me. No, you are about to see how someone will do my makeup, a good friend of mine. <laughs> and she's gonna ask me some questions. And I don't know the questions, and I'm getting anxiety right now, but whatever. Let's do this. Good. So now, guys, we're gonna brush the eyebrows to get the shape done. Don't squeeze your face. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, do do? so let's start with question number one. Oh, what would you do if your man says he loves your best friend? <laughs> or he's in love with your best friend? Uh, what would I do? Uh, first of all, I would, would you confront Thanks. him because um, and ask him how did that happen? Because love or feelings don't how can I say it they don't appear overnight so in our relationship something had happened or I did something that you felt uncomfortable or went to her and or him or whatever him what no her that's a woman <laughs> my man <laughs> and talk to her and I'm pretty sure it was the first time so I would talk to you and figure out what's going on, if it's really love or it's, if it's, how can I say this? Let me say it like this. If it's just because our relationship is rough right now that you're escaping into another relationship or something that's comfortable, you know what I mean? So I would talk to him mm -hmm. and ask what's going on. But the point is, is that my man, my husband or my boyfriend? I'm talking about your husband. Oh. All questions about, is our, um, are about your husband. Sorry. Oh my god. Mm, yeah, like I said, I would do that. And I would figure out, like I said, where the feelings are coming from and mm -hmm. why. And mm -hmm. of course, I would work it out. But first off, I would probably take my distance. Like, not in the sense that I'm going to break or divorce, no, but. Mm, no. In marriage? In marriage, I, you can't just be like, deuces. First of all, of course, I would pray and ask God for my strength and help me and you know, I would always have this in the back of my mind, but I would say to you like, would you talk to your friend or not? Oh, 100%. Like, I would and ask, did you know that? Mm -hmm. Or hey, did you have a feeling or something? Mm -hmm. And if she says no, I'm like, okay. I moved, right? Right. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, of okay. course, I would talk to him first, then to her, to her, with her. But at that point, I would be like, girl, I love you. But keep your distance. Mm -hmm. Now keep your distance because you have to figure this out. And if she knew that he had feelings for her, oh, honey, that's a whole other story. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, uh? So what would you do if she knew? Um, And she didn't tell you? Because she was feeling bad about it and she didn't want you to get overhyped and all this stuff. Of course, course I would talk to her and I would tell her like I'm disappointed because we are friends or in that case we are best friends and you did tell me and that's my husband. And I would say girl we need our distance because there is something that you guys overstepped some kind of line. Oh, mm. but I would try to figure it out. But of course, my man, my man is my man, is my ride or die. And with her, I would really, I would, I, mean, I would need some time, mm -hmm. really, to figure this out. Because first, I have to handle everything with my husband, 
even not before I can handle or deal with her because my husband in that case is more important than my best friend. Okay. Because it's my husband. Okay, let's get to the next question. What would you do if your man converted to a Muslim without telling you? Oh my lord. Girl, what are these questions? You're killing me. Um, let me think. And I don't know. He's like, okay. I wasn't so much. I wasn't suspicious as suspicious at all. He just told me. He just like you were laying in the bed together, and he just popped off. Like um, I'm Muslim now. Babes, I'm a Muslim. I can't be a Christian anymore. I don't. I don't Ooh. like. I don't. I don't want to um, be. I don't want to serve God anymore. I don't. Oh, wow. You know what? What would you do? I would. First of all, I would. I would be calm. <laughs> first of all, and ask him where the change is coming from or what happened or why he's feeling like that mm -hmm. like, I would, the reason why because you don't say i'm gonna change my religion just because and i would listen to his explanation and i would be like oh i i'm serious i oh sorry i forget. yeah i actually i don't know of course i would talk to him i would figure out why I don't know, don't you trust him in it anymore or did some kind of disappoint you or what? I don't know, that's a tough question. I don't know. Mm, I really don't. The point mm. is, um, in a marriage, if you have, it can work. <laughs> it, let me say it like this. There are couples out there where you see it works, but in my opinion, it's really, really, <laughs> let me say it again, really hard because Two religions, two different beliefs, and oh. that's that. But in my case, I really don't know. I seriously don't know. I would ask him why and when did that happen, and of course, why did you tell me? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I'm your wife, and <laughs> I'm a Christian. You're Muslim now. Mm -hmm. I can't say I would leave him like, uh, 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 like, bro, why? Mm -hmm. But I really. I would figure out the source, like the deeper, the root, why, but since I don't know what I would do. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Okay, so you got me right? Mm hmm. Oh. What's your favorite dish? Ooh. Like an Indian dish? Ghanaian dish. Oh, give yourself some coconut beans. Coconut beans? Coconut beans? Coconut beans? Coconut mm. beans? All right, mm. all right. So what? So now you're living in Germany. What's your German favorite dish? Oh, I don't know. oh. <laughs> that's not a dish, but <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> Just potatoes. You like potatoes? I like potatoes. Which I'm one? German. Um, actually, when I like when I do wedges, you know, cut them, put them in the oven, a little bit of. I don't know, a salad and you know, mm -hmm. something quick and easy. Mm -hmm. You'll that's that, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, I actually eat everything. <laughs> okay. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. I can see clearly now. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna find the cancer one stuff from Nyx. Guys, full coverage. Okay, let's do this. Listen, I'm not a makeup artist. We're just doing this fun, so don't come after it's me. It's on period, right? Okay. Um, next question. Mm -hmm. What type of men do you like? Won't you squeeze her face, please? Sorry. Um, the shit starts again. <laughs> <laughs> type of man? Do you mean appearance-wise? The think? outside. The outside of the person. Or the inside. Yeah. No. First of all, we're talking about the outside appearance. Um, what type of guy? I don't have a type. type. That's the point. I actually I don't have a type. If I see a man and he's attractive to me, he's attractive. I can let. Okay, I'm probably gonna put up pictures of men <laughs> who, I, who I find attractive. Who, who, who I find attractive. Hello. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and you will see there's a difference. That. That's diverse diversity i don't have i'm not like i want a man who is uh, i don't know dark skin 1a like 180 centimeters 
has, I don't know, this color of hair, and no, I actually don't care. If you look good, then you look good, period. So, you won't have a problem to date a white guy, right? I won't, no. Hmm? If it, if this guy is from God, and God sent me the guy, and he's white, then he's white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Okay, so, do you have a preference? Like, does he have to be tall, or does he have to be short? Or does it have to be big? Or does it have to be skinny? What do you want? Do you um, want somebody who's a couch potato? You oh, hell Okay, no. nobody wants a couch potato, but <laughs> like, do you want someone who is like into um, sports and oh. loves gym and okay. all that workout shit and you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Okay, um, yeah, let me start with the height. Um, I would prefer to have someone who's taller than me mm -hmm. because it's, I'm not, I'm not skinny. Do you know how tall you are? I'm, um, uh, I think, um, 168 of, centimeters? Yeah, mm -hmm. about that, 170, yeah, about that height. When he's a little bit taller than me, it would be nice if he would be much more taller than me. But if not, I don't mind a short guy. <laughs> I'm serious, I don't. Yeah. I'm saying this right now, but in the moment, I don't know how I would be. And be like, mm. But I actually don't care. You don't care. Most, if he's taller than me, it would be nice. And you said if he should be bigger, or I would love him, no, English. He should be into fitness, because I'm a person, I love fitness, and I can't like live without it. And he should be, he, sh mm, let me say it like this. He doesn't need to be ripped, like, <laughs> I can see every muscle, no. But he should be big in the sense of muscular, mm -hmm. because I'm not a skinny person, so. Yeah, what else? Um, higher, the height, fitness, mm -hmm. um, what else, what did you say? What else did you say? I don't mind. I don't mind if he would be skinny. But if he would be skinny and have muscles, that's that. If he's the only thing that I don't like, if he's skinny or um, bigger, mm -hmm. I don't like you. Ha you have to work out. <laughs> that's you don't have to look like a model because I don't look like a model too. So it's like you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. For me, if I look at you and call you healthy. Honey, you're my bag because if I see someone who's healthy, that means oh, you gonna live a prosperous <laughs> and long life with me because I want you to be healthy because I want to have children. I want you to see oh, both of us see how our children grow up and now and then our grandparents, you know. And I don't want someone who's not unfit. That's not but unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -mm. okay, yeah. Okay, so um, if you could change the world, <laughs> what would you change? Oh, what would I change? Would you please squeeze your lips? <laughs> please put it in. Put them in. Thanks. <laughs> but I can't answer the question, dude. Yeah, you gonna wait for <laughs> that. <laughs> Problems in our world are based on. Oh, how should I say this? Are based on. Mm, how can I say this? Um. <laughs> I don't know the word. Now, a lot of problems in our world is not. They're not based on that people don't like each other, but misunderstanding sometimes. Or a lot of times, okay. <laughs> um, when someone has an opinion or is like, okay, I like potatoes, and the other person is like, no, I like bananas, and the person who says I like bananas is not accepting the choice of the potato guy, it's like the word is going down. Some people are, oh, thank you. Some people are super sensitive, okay? Mm, guys, stop for a second. Mind your goddamn business, okay? 
If someone says they like this one, they like this one. Accept it and don't try to force your opinion on them. Because a lot of times you can continue, I'm sorry. Um, I can use example Christianity. A lot of people are like, yeah, when someone is a belie uh, believes in God, they're like, why are you shoving your um, beliefs down my throat? I I'm not doing that. I'm just, when, I when I'm talking to you and talking about something, or in that case, someone who I'm passionate about, it's not, I'm not sitting there to force you to believe in God. I'm just telling you my experience and what I've been through. And if I know you don't want to talk to or talk about that, I won't talk to you anymore. And most of the time, those kind of people are like, uh, why, why are you not talking with me anymore? I'm like, honey, this topic, I can't talk to you about that because every time I talk about it, you get sensitive. It's like, we can sit here and have a discussion or you can cry and go in a corner. Like, it's like, so what I would change is that people would be more, that people would be more understanding with each other. Like, I think that would solve a lot, a lot, a lot of problems. Like, I know there are a lot of things out there that are messed up, but I'm like, that's a small thing that would change a lot because some arguments are based on like stupid shit. <laughs> sorry, but I'm not sorry. Yes, and that's, I think that's something that would change. Like, let everybody do their thing, but in, not bad things. Don't, don't quote me on that. If, they go, if someone does something wrong, check them. Mm -hmm, be honest. But if, I don't know, if someone wears a certain th kind of thing or has an opinion or I don't know what, just let them be. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just this misunderstanding, just too, being too sensitive over some things. Just chill. Mm -hmm. Chill. Chill. Mm. I think I chill out, bro. Chill out. Damn, what the fuck? So, was that the last question? That was the last question. Ooh! What was the last question? That's a, it's but weird. But I got one more for you. You know I'm standing right before you, right? She's doing that. I'm Go gonna ahead. hit you. <laughs> so, Go um, ahead. what do you think about the whole Black Lives Matter movement? What is going on right now? The case with George Floyd, mm -hmm. and all people who died um, recently, mm -hmm. Breonna Taylor, and you know, mm -hmm. call all their names. You know, yeah. what what is your opinion about that? Do you think racism is still um, a big thing? A big thing. Oh, Do you think racism is in Europe? Do you think racism is in Germany? <laughs> is racism on your workplace? Like, what can you say about that? About that? Okay, Black Lives Matter. There's something, oh she hot. Black life, this movement, I never been, of course, I was fighting for my rights or, no, but since George Floyd, since that happened, everybody knows what, the shift. Things are burning, people are burning stores down. People are, I don't know, the, the police are getting exposed. They're, no, let me say it like this. They got exposed years ago, but now, this man changed everything. In my opinion, this happened, this, no, he, his death, rest in peace, I don't know how to say it. He had, he had to die. Because if he didn't die, if he didn't die, if the, the amount of the Black Lives Matter movement, it wouldn't be where it is right now. And there's one thing, don't make it a trend because I feel it right now is like the last few days it was like really ba 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 and it's dying out. It's not a trend. It's always been there. And um yeah, I know there are people that say all lives matter. I know 100% all lives matter because we are all human. But the point is we or me as a black person, the kind of not discrimination, racism that I've been through no other ethnicity went through the same thing every ethnicity has their own problems but we slavery some people say slavery is over it's not racism is over it's not it's still there every day 
when you go in, into a store, I don't know, when I find the post, I'm gonna put it up there. When you go into a store and have a German last name, and the cashier is saying, oh, that's fraud. It's credit card fraud because you can't have a German name. Like, what, the, what is that? So, <laughs> racism is there. Slavery, in a way, didn't end because slavery is now more than somehow some different and I don't just don't just just don't be racist have huh? I just put my makeup on because I'm getting heated right now <laughs> no my point is just when people say all lives matter it does but it, not in this case right now I'm so sorry because we, uh, the pain that we feel, not felt, we still feel this pain to this day. And now we're speaking up and people are like, yeah, all lives matter, all lives matter. We know that all lives matter. I'm not saying who, um, I don't know, Turkish people or Arabic people, they don't have their problems, but getting killed here in Germany, it's not as um, severe as in America, but we see now that there are things or things are happening even more because we are aware of who we are we all now we always knew who we are but now it's like we have to fight for it because there are people out there that still don't understand what's going on and just i don't know it's just people that we are not um, we are a minority but believe me if we would rise honey mm -mm, you can't play with Africans mm -hmm. all in all the conclusion is all lives matter I know about black lives matter it's it's the point right now where we are tired and now the, the bomb exploded because of the death of George Floyd he was no no he is the reason that we are doing what we're doing because it needs to stop in america you go jog jogging and you get shot like huh? and then the people get re released on bed nah and then the police man mm -mm. there's so many things out there when you look back in history there's so many things black people did and they don't get mentioned because mm -hmm, why they got whitewashed okay, or it I? got whitewashed but me so it's a good thing because now the people see oh they're serious and yes we are serious and that's on period i have nothing more to say okay so i'm done that I'm was the question no that was the question i had from this moment i'm gonna skip what do you go to skip? Fast forward! <laughs>
girl. She said sorry. Guys, like, a favorite tenor to all my Ghanaians and all my English peoples, she's wearing. But that's, that's the look. She, is she stiff? No, she not. She not stiff at all. Gonna probably, should I tuck it onto, onto my ear? Behind my ear? Guys, that's the look. I look like a cat, meow. So, the next thing I'm gonna show you is, when I find out what I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna show my outfit. And I've got a hair on my lip, and What do I look? I look like a granny. And she's getting ready over there. But I don't want to show her ass because she's always like, ah! But you're going to see her tomorrow, so whatever. And I'm going to show what I'm wearing. So, wait a second. How oh my girl calls those shoes the medical shoes. Can you see them? The medical shoes. This is a Schlaghose. German. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, turtleneck and a beautiful chain. I don't know. I have this chain. This chain. I have this chain. I don't know how long, how many years. As you can see, I'm greedy again. Um, she's celebrating. He made, she made a party right there. If I get demonetized, it is, I don't care. Um, I'm gonna post this on my Instagram. So follow me on my Instagram. And I'm gonna see you guys when I have the outfit on. <laughs> Girls, boys. Don't mind this. My look, you gotta see it in a second. But, I can actually show you, wait. Wait a second, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're in my kitchen right now. You. you. <laughs> my outfit. My outfit. This is my outfit. So I'm gonna get this fixed. As you can see, I'm sweating. Well, see you later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I'm back home. I look rough. Don't look at me. I have to do my YouTubes, eh? <laughs> I have my YouTubes. Damn. That's the end. I'm exhausted and... Damn! Do you want to pull my eye out? Would you shut... Shut your ears up! <laughs> um... Follow me on Instagram at Benny Songs. <laughs>